Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training video and in this video I am going to show you how to map learn or data store uh, to VCP6. So let's see what we have. So we have a uh, same same uh, virtual machine and uh, uh, storage which we have in last video. Uh, Win2Kit uh, 12 DC01 which is our Active Directory server. I have installed Active Directory and DNS on this machine and the second one is my vCenter server I have installed vCenter server on on this machine the machine name is vCenter 6 and I have uh, installed vSphere client and vSphere web client on this machine you can see I have logged into my v, vSphere web client and and vSphere uh, client also so and we have three ESX host ESX1, ESX2 and ESX3 all the three hosts is uh, like I have added all the three hosts in uh, my v, uh, DC India data center which we have uh, just did in last video so and uh, storage coming from my physical machine for on which I have installed the Starwind virtual uh, virtual SAN and you can see I, I have created one target and uh, three uh, three devices and few in few last videos so so let's do and also we, we did the networking in just last video to provide the multi-pathing access to our storage or sandbox so so let's do a uh, mapping with the learns and data store so so now you can see we have three data store currently if you go on vSphere web client on a storage view we have three host and if you click on storage we have total three storage here so let's do rename this so it can be identified ESX I see the one hyphen local So we have three local storage, and now I'm going to um, add the data store which is coming from Virtual SAN. So for that, we have to go on my uh, one of the ESXOs. So first, do it with ESXO01 and go to configuration. You can do it from uh, web client also, but I'm I'm showing uh, one ESX01 from here, and we'll show. Uh, for second one from our web client so well you will get the idea from both so here if you see uh, I don't have any HBA on my uh, ASX host so I'm going to add a ISCSI, ISCSI SAN here so software ISCSI adapter click add and a new software ISCSI adapter will be added to use storage adapter list so I want to add it so here you can see the changing completed just refresh so here you can see software adapter is added and we have a uh, no path and nothing here because we did not configure any like uh, target so select the software adapter I can see software adapter click on properties and go on like um, mapping so add dynamic mapping put here the virtual SAN server IP address click OK so it will add the like one um, ISCSI target and define the port group all as well as ISCSI 0 and add the second one ISCSI 0 2 and we have added the ISKC target, server target and the network port so good to know and just a rescan the host adapter bus adapter is recommended for uh, like uh, run the con rescan it for adapter so currently you can see we have no target connected no device no pass so if you click yes it will rescan the HPA and now you can see we have two target and three devices and 
six path total. So we have a path, a redundant path for each ESX host. And if you go here, you can see we have three devices. So now if you go on storage and add storage you will get the like storage on so this type of storage you want to add network file system or disk or LAN so create a data store on fiber channel ISKC or local SAS so local ISKC so I'm going to add my ISKC here so you can see the all the three devices uh, three LANs which is coming for star and ISKC is listed here so go ahead and add enter the data store name so call it like ISKC Learn zero, learn zero, and click on next, and it will give you the size, maximum size or available size. So I'm going with the default one, which is maximum size. So basically, adding the data store uh, and creating the formatting the the learn which is coming for storage is a one-time task. If you created uh, like uh, if you formatted the learn f uh, on one ESX host, you will get the same uh, on the second or third ESX host. There was no need to reformat the drive. So now you can see ISK C learn zero is added. We have the free space VMFS type and all the detail is here so let's do add the second one also so call it SQC learn one copy the name so we can paste it for the next maximum size click on finish so add a third one also so it will give you a detail for the name ISKC set process so we have all the three LUN is added to our ESX hole and if you check on ESX2 we don't have added ESX on, on to a, uh, for now so to add it I'm, I want to show from like uh, web client how to add it so select the ESX02 and go to storage and then storage adapter on the storage adapter page add the software ISKC software ISKC adapter yes I want to add it so now you can see ISKC software adapter is added and go on target page and specify the dynamic target 192.168.200 and click OK and provide the network uh, port binding so select the both and click OK and we need to do due to recent configuration we require to re, like uh, refresh the information so refresh the adapter we scan the host adapter if you select the software as you can see you can see the device is mapped three lens are mapped and we have six total six path so it's working perfectly fine so now we have to go to storage device let's go to related objects and click on data stores and 
add the data store here so now if you go ahead and check from ESX uh, ESPA client you can see the storage is already added because we have uh, done the formatting for all the three learns and created the learns by on our first ESX host only so it will automatically map to second one when it's map it's automatically detect the uh, data store and the uh, partition information so and do it same for the third host so manage and storage adapters click on plus button I software eyes can see So now you can see the adapter is added here and provide the target information dynamic add provide the IP address for ISKC target it's 200 for us and go to network binding and select the both NIC click OK and rescan the adapters Country state path state not in use. So if we refresh the adapter, now we can see the path state is active. We have three devices and six path here. So good to know. And now just go here on third. You can see the it's also map on the third as well as so. We have we have installed the software ISKC uh, adapter and we have mapped the uh, learn for the all the devices. So if you want to browse the data store, just click on data store and uh, right click on data store and click browse data store. So you are able to browse the data store any of them. So here it is, and now I'm going to create one folder here in my first learn. Call it ISO and we'll up up upload the ISO image on this on this ESX for that I'm want to have like ISO on my my server vCenter server so I'm going to share my physical drive with this machine so here it is. Now I have mapped my uh, C uh, my ISO file folder with like a network drive on my uh, host machine. We sent a server, so click on up upload file to station. Upload, click on upload file. And select the ISO which you want to upload. So let's upload Windows Server 2008 R2. So here you can see uploading the inf the ISO file. So this is all about uh, mapping the mapping the data store and learn uh, to vSphere vCenter server. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any question or query related to this, please post me on my Google Mail ID. Thank you once again. Bye bye.